Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to work on getting straight lines on a tumbler. We are going to be using the paint colors of red, black, and green. And as you can see, I have already prepped my tumbler. I sanded, washed, and dried it. I taped it off in three sections. And finally, I spray painted the red and the green um, outside and then I let it dry. I brought it back in and I put saran wrap over the top of the red so that um, it would not contaminate the green when I spray painted the green. So now I'm going to take the saran wrap off and I'm pulling off the tape. Then I'm going to take the tape, then I'm going to tape off the red and the green so that I can spray paint the black in the center and then I'm going to leave it outside to dry for about an hour. The reason we taped it off was because taping it off will give us those crisp lines right there where the red, see where the red stops and the, then the green stops, that nice crisp line. I'm going to tape that off again and then we're going to spray paint the middle black. I want to share with you the colors that I'm using, the color glitters that I'm using. They are from Glitter Chimp. I am using Topical, Tropical for green, Rain of Fire for the red, and Hijack for the black. All right, so um, let me go ahead and take this and I'll be right back. We are mixing the epoxy. Um, I'm getting putting my protective gear on. Starting my timer so I know how long to mix my epoxy. Okay, and it's finished mixing because I'm speeding this up. All right. And I'm going to clean off my stir stick. I keep a stock of baby wipes around. That's what they're for. I'm only using a small amount of epoxy, about two mLs because I want a really thin coat on my tumbler to put the glitter on. So now moving to the next step that I did after that dried, you can see I taped and surround wrap everything up to spray the black. And now we're gonna unwrap it and get ready for the glitter. I'm gonna use the epoxy method, using very little glitter, about two mLs. I'm gonna um, tape off the black again. Now that I've got it all done, I'm gonna tape it off, and I'm going to put just the two mLs of glitter on the red and the green. I'm not using a lot, and you don't normally want to use a lot when you're using epoxy to put your glitter on because the more epoxy you put on there, the glitter will just soak it up. So you only need a thin, thin coat. And I'm taping it again to keep those lines straight. And so when I put each color of the glitter on, it won't contaminate the other colors. making sure that it's down tight so none of the paint seeps under the tape. Okay, now I'm going to put my foam down in my tumbler and put the shaft in the tumbler and get it ready to go on. Okay, I'm going to hit my Epoxy with a, just a little bit of heat from the torch. And now I'm just using my fingers to put the epoxy on, the, put a thin layer of epoxy on the cup. And the reason I use my fingers, guys, is because I can feel when I get to a rough patch and it just doesn't slide, my finger just doesn't slide over the cup, it lets me know that I missed that spot. That's how you can tell. 
Now I'm gonna do the red, doing the same process, a really, really thin coat. And don't forget the bottom. It's very important. Do not forget your bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna get ready to put the glitter on. I'm gonna start with the red and I'm going to angle my cup down. I'm angling it down with the red part down, that way the glitter will fall to the red and it won't get in the green that also has epoxy on it. And we wanna make sure to cover everything, but this is where your painting with the red comes in handy at the beginning because because it's red behind there, any spots that you miss, like little teeny tiny spots so they can see through the glitter, um, is gonna show up red. So you don't need to do really two coats most of the time when you do it with the epoxy mess method. All right, so let's put our glitter back in here. We wanna save every little bit of that precious glitter because glitter is expensive. And now for the green. So as you can see, I'm going to angle my cup the other way so that the green falls off the green end and doesn't contaminate the red. Wow, these colors are really, really vibrant and pretty. I'm just tapping it off to get the glitter that hasn't stuck um, off and making sure that I cover the bottom. Okay, we're gonna get any little spots we've got here. We'll just put a little bit more of the glitter on there to cover up everything or cover anything that we missed. Tap it off. And now we are going to clean up our glitter by putting it back in the jar. And we're going to get ready to put this on the cup turner. This is a turner that I made myself, guys. I, it came out really good. Sometimes it squeaks, sometimes it doesn't, but for the most part, it came out really good and it was really easy to make. So we're gonna put our cup on the turner in just a second. I'm gonna take the middle tape off. Remember, we taped everything off so we could keep those nice, crisp lines and the reason we're taking the tape off now is because if we let it dry up there with that epoxy on it it's going to be really really hard to take off sometimes i wait a few minutes longer to get it done and then sometimes i just take it right off right after i've glittered um, and I pull it with a downward motion so that I can make sure I get, you know, I get it, keep it in a clip, crisp line. Okay, and we're gonna let this dry for about six hours and when we come back, we're gonna work on the black. Okay guys, so my glitter has dried for us between, I left it on a little bit longer than six hours, but I'm gonna clean any extra glitter off the sides. I've taped off the red and I've taped off the green again. 
I'm going to hit it up. This time I don't even need um, like the two mLs of, of epoxy. I've just got one mL because it's the easiest there is to, to measure. Uh, I'm going to lightly, again, put it on the black. try to contain it within the taped area and then I'm gonna put my black glitter on and I'm not worried about any of the green or the red glitter that came over because the black glitter will cover it okay and I'm just gonna tap off that excess glitter let it fall on the paper. And we're gonna clean up our black glitter. Put that back in our cup. And now we've skipped ahead and our cup is totally dry. We let it dry for between eight to 10 hours and it is totally dry. So now we're gonna cover it with uh, a larger, heavier coat of epoxy. And I'm gonna put it on kind of thick, guys, because I kind of I want it to cover everything. I start at one end and work my way to the other end. Okay. I'm putting this on with my finger because I want to feel and make sure that I'm covering every part of this cup because if you miss a little part that is what is called a fisheye you know and you'll see it believe you me you will see it when your cup is dry and you go to look at it at an angle and you go oh no I missed a part so I'm just cleaning off my hands with my baby wipes right now and getting that edge up at the top. I don't want it to go over the lip of the cup because I don't want to have a lot of cleaning up to do. So I'm just trying to be very careful up there. And guys, what I did not mention was in between the time that I brought this cup back in, I did spray the red, the black, and the green with Rust-Oleum Clear Coat. Um, that helps to hold all of the glitter in its place. But I'm still, even though it was glittered down, I mean, even though it was sprayed down with Clear Coat, I'm still trying to do each section separately wiping off my hand in between the sections so that I don't get any of the loose green glitter that might still be on there. I don't want it to contaminate the other colors. But make sure you get the bottom. We don't want to forget that. Okay, now I'm going over with my torch just to hit any micro bubbles that, you know, might still be on there. But normally I don't get a lot. Now I'm just going to take that baby wipe that I had hanging up there and I'm going to clean the inside rim of the cup just in case any epoxy got on the inside. I, I like to kind of clean up as I go. That way it doesn't make it as hard when you get to the end and you got to clean up a cup. I mean, it's not hard to clean a cup, but who wants to do that extra work? So now I'm going to set my timer. 
for eight hours. All right, guys, so my cup is dried and it is ready for the decal to be put on. If you see, my lines are straight. I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. No, sorry. Um, my lines are very straight, and that's what we wanted the tape to do. That's why we were using the tape. That's why we were putting the uh, saran wrap on there to cover it, to make sure it stayed nice and even and didn't um, contaminate the other colors. Now, the other thing I do is at this point, I put my lid on because I want to be able to tell the front and the back of the cup. Um, it's very hard when you go to put your decal on and unless you're putting decals all over the cup, it really doesn't matter. But if you're only putting a decal on the front and a decal on the back, you want to make sure you put them so when someone is holding the cup, they can see it. Now, I'm, I'm going to do that on this little um, thing that I made. It's a cup holder and I'm using it to hold my cup so that I can put the lid on it. Now, I mean, not the lid, duh, the lid is on it so that I can put the decal on it. The best thing about this cup is it has a little lip right here, and this lip shows me where the front of my cup is. Okay guys, so I've got my decal on. Thanks for watching. This is the finished cup. I hope you like it. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you don't miss any of my new videos coming out or my shorts. And the shorts always contain some helpful hints. Thanks. See you soon.